Good day everyone, this is me again, Kuya Padre Sherwell, and welcome to Timbaya, an online prayer and catechism session. As we prepare ourselves for this catechism session, it is best for us to ready ourselves through prayer. Let us have Dodong Nelmar to lead us into prayer. Everybody, my name is Namar. Today we are going to pray. At the name of Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, thank you for another beautiful day. Thank you for the sunshine, family, food, clothes, and the shelter. Please guide us today. Amen. At the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And your learning. Bye. Thank you, Dodong Nilmar, for leading us into prayer. Our church here in Sibunga, Nuestra Señora del Pilar was featured in one of the episodes of Gaza, 21 Historical Snippets to 2021, from the Facebook page of the 500 Years of Christianity and of the Smart Communities page. In response to this, we are inspired to tell you more, to show you more, and catechize you on these sacred paintings of our church. With the Gothic architectural design, our church helps us to know God and adore Him through these three-dimensional illusion paintings on the ceiling painted by the famous Raimundo Francia. Indeed, this is our treasure and it is our great honor to showcase it to you today. Let's listen to Ate Geraldine as she will give us a closer look on these paintings. Hello everyone, I'm Ati Geraldine and join me as we'll take a closer look in our church's ceiling that exhibits selected Bible imageries and sacred traditions. Today, we are going to focus on the paintings of the story of creation and the seven sacraments. The ceiling of the sanctuary of the altar depicts the Genesis account of creation. It aims at stressing the point that there is only one God who is the source of everything. The Genesis account of creation in our ceiling describes the story of creation in the most orderly manner possible. The story is illustrated in a pattern and poem-like structure which is essentially an aid to our memory. The first three days of creation were the days of separation. The first day is the separation of light from darkness. The second day is the separation of waters above and waters below. And the third day is the separation of dry land from water. The next three days were days of filling the earth with living creatures. The fourth day is the creation of the sun, the stars, the moon, and other heavenly bodies. The fifth day is filling the skies with birds and the waters with the sea creatures. And the sixth day is filling the world with land animals and human beings to inhabit the earth. And 
and God rested on the seventh day. God created everything and everything that He created was good. The greatest of all His creations is us, you, me, humanity. He created us in His own image and likeness. God continues to create us today by sustaining everything that He created in existence and supporting us in our own creative activity. Next are the paintings of the seven sacraments which are found on the ceiling above the pews. Starting from the entrance of the church, these are the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, reconciliation, Eucharist, anointing of the sick, holy orders, and matrimony. The first sacrament is the sacrament of baptism or bunyag. Baptism is the first sacrament and it is the door to the other six sacraments. In baptism, we become children of God and members of the church. The pouring of the water symbolizes the washing away of our original sin and our personal sins. Thus, gives us the life of grace and marks us belonging to Christ and enabling us to receive other sacraments. The second is the Sacrament of Confirmation o ang Sacramento sa Kumpirma, where we intensify the Holy Spirit we received during baptism, confirming our faith and making us truly Christians by witnessing and defending the faith. The third is the Sacrament of Reconciliation or Confession o ang Sacramento sa Pakighiuli o Kumpisal. Through the ministry of the priest, we acknowledge our sins and ask God's mercy and forgiveness in order for us to be reconciled with Him. The fourth is the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist o ang Sacramento sa Eucharistia. It is the sacrament where we commemorate Christ's life, His Paschal mystery, and receive His body in the matter of the consecrated host during the Holy Mass. The fifth is the sacrament of the anointing of the sick o ang sacramento sa hilog sa masakiton. It is for the sick and the dying where one asks God's love and mercy to pour over him or her for physical and spiritual healing through the anointing of the oil on the forehead and hands. The sixth is the Sacrament of Holy Orders or ang Sacramento sa Orden sa Pagkapari. It is only received by those who have the calling to priesthood, who in turn become the very men who can only administer all the sacraments. The seventh is the sacrament of matrimony or ang sacramento sa kaminyoon. This sacrament unites man and woman as husband and wife in a covenant with God. God gives them grace to be faithful spouses and good parents for procreation and education of their children. Let us take note that these sacraments are God's gift to the Church. They are visible signs instituted by Jesus Christ Himself, entrusted to the Church, by which we meet Him and receive God's invisible grace. So there you go! 
Those are the beautiful paintings about the story of the creation and the paintings about the seven sacraments, which you can freely see here in our church's ceiling in Sibonga, in our parish, Dear Lady of the Pillar. Until next time, I'm Ati Geraldine. Bye! Thank you, Ati Geraldine. And as to what you have heard and seen, the paintings serve only one purpose, to know God and to be in relationship with Him. Now, let us listen to the reflections of our children and youth about today's topics. God loves us so much because He created many beautiful things like flowers, trees, and animals. We are created in God's image and likeness. We should live our life the way we reflect on Him. Everything God created was good. Let us see Him in everything and let us not destroy them. When God sees Adam alone, He created Eve for His company. This part of the creation story is a beautiful reminder to us that we are not alone. God created us to be each other's company, friend, and support. God also created different land forms such as plains, valleys, mountains, peaks, and plateaus. These creations show us some high points and low points. In life, we don't always get to stay on top and be happy. We have to undergo learning experiences, which may seem as the low points, such as problems, challenges, and shortcomings. Acknowledging these high and low points in our lives is embracing God and trusting His plans and ways. From our birth to our deathbed, we have the sacraments and that is baptism to the anointing of the sick. Every stage in our lives, God is willing to be with us through the sacraments. Let us accept them joyfully and God be with us. God is willing to forgive sins to someone who is willing to come to Him in the sacrament of reconciliation. The sacrament of reconciliation connects us to God through the priest. Every time we confess our sins, we receive God's precious gift, His forgiveness. So, dili unta kita mahadlok sa pagpamimpisal, kay kini makapagaan sa ato ang pamati. Everyone, in each and every sacrament, we can encounter the presence of Jesus. Through His presence in each and every sacrament, we should always be reminded that He invited us to participate in His mission. Like Jesus, we should learn how to sacrifice for the sake of others, to proclaim the good news of our salvation, and to be a servant leader as a participation of His kingship. We are called to participate in His mission because He is the vine and we are His branches. Thank you so much, mga dudong, mga inday. And for now, we'll end this episode with a prayer. Hi 
everyone, I'm Demi. Join me as we end this episode with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, thank you for the wonderful day. Thank you for all the things that we have learned today. Thank you for giving us the chance to celebrate our faith. Thank you for giving us this guidance and wisdom during this catechism. We pray that you will, you will always keep us safe, happy, and healthy. Please protect all the frontliners and especially all the people of Sibonga. Amen. Our Lady of Pilar, pray for us. Saint Philomena, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stay home, stay healthy, and pray. Bye. Thank you, Indai Demi. We hope you have learned something today. See you again next time, the part two of this topic, Sacred Paintings of Nuestra Señora del Pilar Church, Sibunga. Once again, this is Kuya Padre Sherwell saying, stay home, stay healthy, and pray. Bye!